what happened to Peter. Peter toiled all night. In the book of Luke, chapter 5, he toyed all night and could not catch anything. He struggled. Some of us have struggled. We want to tell Pastor, Pastor, I expected something January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Now we are in August. Why do you think it will be different this month of August? When I was expecting those things, maybe a letter of joy, maybe a relationship, maybe promotion, maybe immigration, something. January I waited, February I waited, nice August. The good news is that number eight is new beginnings. Hmm. Isaiah 43, 18 says, forget the former things. It doesn't even matter your success or your failures. God said, I am taking you to another level because the prisoner of your future is the success you think you've had before. You want to limit God. God said, I am going to blow your mind. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 said, is the God that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far beyond what you even think. First your thought, even before you say it. You've not even thought about it, but God has a good plan for you. His thoughts towards you and I are things that are good, not evil, to God give you an expected end. So I want to congratulate such ones. That God is set to do something new. To take you to the overflow. That will be mind-blowing. When it happened to Peter, it was a boat sinking, net breaking, breathtaking miracle. That is what God wants to do for you and I. You are rightly located in the right place at the right time. Praise the Lord. So I want you to share up. Share up. Start dancing. Because in most of you, it's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. It shuts some doors so that some other doors will open. A son of mine was giving me testimony and they were laying people off. He said, as it started happening, you know if there's no laying off, you won't look for another job. Oh yes, you'll be tight there now. Huh? And immediately you start thinking to say, Lord, it's time to move, it's time to move, it's time to move. And the other job the person had was far better than the one they were laying people off. You don't wait for them to sack you, you sack them. You sack them. Praise the Lord. 